Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Again, excuse my voice. I'm just getting over a bad cold. Um, but you can see we're back again with Out of the Park Baseball 1994 season. And as you can see right here, we are in the World Series against the Houston Astros and currently tied two games apiece. And we are going back to the Game 1 matchup of Jack Black Jack McDowell for us on the mound at home and their starter will be greg swindell so um i assume that these are um postseason stats so swindell is two and one with a 229 earned run average jack mcdowell is four and oh with a 432 so we will uh we'll get on with the game i think i think we're good to go there um yeah, they got Jack McDowell, so I'm, you know. So here we go. You can see Swindell's kind of, you can kind of see Swindell and McDowell down there at the bottom. But anyway, the lineup for the Astros will be uh, James Mouton in right, Luis Gonzalez in left, uh, Bagwell at first base, Biggio at second, Caminiti at third, Steve Finley in center. Kevin Bass will be the DH. And Tony Eusebio will be the catcher. And Aubin will be their shortstop. For us, we have Joey Cora leading off, playing second base. Ozzie Gee in the second batter at short. Frank Thomas, who has been very hot this series, at DH. Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco at first base. Robin Ventura at third. Darren Jackson in right, Tim Rain Sr. in left, Karkovice at catcher, and of course, our usual uh, center fielder, Chris Morgan, who uh, batted 231 during the season. So with that all having been said, let's get on with game five and hope that we can win this game and then go up three games to two. So I am going to pitch to the batter, and we're going to get this thing started. And that's going to be a fly out to right, one down quickly. And the next batter is Luis Gonzalez. And he had a for some reason wanted to bunt I don't know why and that's going to be a fly ball to Chris Morgan for the second out <coughs> <coughs> and Jeff Bagwell is up Bagwell is going to line a single between short and third for a base hit first hit for the Astros here in the first and giving way to Craig Biggio and they, is he out? No, he's safe. Bagwell stole second. So let's hope he can get Biggio. Looks like he did with a pop-up to Cora. So we'll, we'll bat in the bottom of the, of the first against Swindell, who has been having a pretty good postseason. But we lead it off with a base hit by Cora. And that brings up Ozzie Gian. I could try to steal, but I don't steal. I don't really like stealing. All right, well, that's a fielder's choice with Cora being eliminated at second and now Gian on at first with the big hurt up. Ooh, and they walk the big hurt. They don't want any part of him. Swindell saw him. In, in game one, what he can do. Julio. Oh, come on. He's swinging at something up in his eyes. Two down and Robin Ventura up. And that's a strikeout, and we're done in the first. So we'll go to the top of the second in a 0-0 game. And uh, Ken Caminiti, the batter. 
And that's going to be a slow roller, and it's going to be an error, I think, at first base on Julio Franco. So we got a batter at second with no outs now, and uh, Steve Finley up. And he hits the ball, and there's another error by Franco. Franco's killing us. Runners at the corners, no out. <sighs> Kevin Bass up. And that's going to be a base hit that drives in an unearned run. Oh, now we're just we're getting mowed here. Tony Eusebio is up. And that is going to be a deep fly. Deep fly to Chris Morgan, but it'll score another run, and the Astros are ahead 2-0. And uh, and at the plate is Justin Aubin. And we got him easily. All right. So at least we throw the batter out at second. We got two down. Or the, uh, first, the guy at first out at second. And uh, that's going to be, that's going to drop. They could have had a potential, well, at least runner on third right there. So we're probably lucky that. Uh, they tried to steal, and they're trying it again. And did he get him? No. Karkovice is just really... Oh, and then he hit the batter. We got all kinds of problems going on here. And then that's going to be a deep fly. So they take a 2 nothing lead, which is not good at all. Swindell pitching to Darren Jackson. And Darren Jackson is going to fly out to left field. One down quickly. Tim Raines up. Tim Rock Raines. And he's going to fly out to left field. Left field, they're getting a lot of work here. And that is going to be a fly out to center. And we go one, two, three in the second. Astros up 2 nothing, and McDowell's going to deal to Bagwell to lead it off. Did he go deep? Did he get out of here? No, it's a deep fly ball, though, and that's, you know, bad enough. One down, and another fly ball, maybe? No, that's going to be a double. Double, I think, for Biggio. Yep. And uh, Ken Caminiti is up. Ooh! Franco couldn't get that one. Franco is killing us. All right. And that that scores another run for the Astros. They're ahead 3 nothing now. And uh, Steve Finley up. And we get him. All right. So there's an out. Two outs because uh, Biggio was thrown out. I think Biggio was thrown out at second. And then a ball up in his eyes, and so now the next batter is Kevin Bass, the DH. All right, Karkovice guns him. So they're being a little too aggressive here. This, I mean, they could have a bigger lead than this if they weren't getting thrown out at second base. Chris Morgan, our ninth place hitter, is going to hit a slow roller to short, and he won't beat it out. That brings up Joey Cora. Joey is going to pop out to first. Their first baseman, not making errors. And uh, Gian is up. Of course, that's Bagwell, so. All right, so we go quickly again. And here we go to the top of the fourth inning, down 3 nothing. Can't really afford, I don't think, to give up any more runs than this. And Morgan catches it at the wall. That brings up Tony Eusebio. Eusebio throws the man out at first. And Aubin. <coughs> and Aubin grounds out to first base. So we are still down 3 nothing, but let's see if we can get something started here with Frank. The Big Hurt Thomas. 
He hits a one hopper to short and he's out. Julio down by the schoolyard, killing us in the field, Franco. And he's going to ground out to third. Man, I tell you, Swindell has just silenced our bats big time here. Ventura up. Ventura Highway. <coughs> so we got Ventura at first with two down and Darren Jackson up. And Darren Jackson is going to fly out to left. So, down 3 nothing still, and Mouton up. Trying to bunt, he gets a strike. And then not trying to bunt, and flying out to Chris Morgan. One down, and Luis Gonzalez up. Luis! Gonzalez gets a base hit, mainly because Jackson didn't want to come in and play that. Again, is he out? Ah, not in time. Well, that'll hold him. The ground ball to third holds him at second. So there is two down and Craig Biggio up. Biggio, come on, get that. Did Chris Morgan get it? Yes. <coughs> Still just down 3 nothing. Tim Raines Sr. is up. He's going to walk. Nice start. Um, Swindell's still out there. Ron Karkovice up. He's got some power. You never know. But he walks, too. Swindell is losing his uh, control here a little bit. Chris Morgan, you know what? I am going to bunt with Chris Morgan. Oh, he pops it out. One down, and Joey Cora up. And he's going to pop out, too. <coughs> Giving way to Ozzie Guillen. And he strikes out. Man, if he could have gotten on and set the table for Frank. But, didn't happen. So, uh, we got McDowell going back out there. Caminiti is the batter. He's going to walk him. Uh, next batter is Finley. Finley does bunt, and it's a beauty. But did he get him? He did. All right. I thought it was a beautiful bunt, but apparently it wasn't. And no, he's safe. Now they've got the runner back at second because Finley stole. But there's the second out right there, and uh, Tony Eusebio up. And it looks like he's going to fly to right. And he does, and we're still down 3 nothing. With Frank leading off. And that's going to be a base hit to second base. And... Julio down by the schoolyard. And he is going to lace a hit between short and third. Now we got two runners on, no outs. Here in the sixth. <coughs> Eusebio is behind the plate. Swindell pitching and Ventura up. Ventura is going to lace a base hit. That should get at least one run in. And it does, and it's three to one. Now we're back in business. With Darren Jackson up. Now Darren Jackson's been cold, but let's see what he can do. Well, he gets the next run in. So now we're only down by a run with a runner at second, and Tim Raines up. And Tim Raines is going to fly out to right. Kark of ice up. Let's see if he can jack one out of here. He can. No, he can't. It's a fly out to center field. So, uh, we're within a run now. 
Let me, uh, let me go check on, um, McDell. Huh? No, McDell's right. He's good. And there's a strikeout to lead off the inning. Nice to see. James Mouton up, the leadoff hitter. And he's going to lace a base hit right over shortstop. Gonzalez, the batter. Come on. You, oh, my God. All right. Another stolen base. Cargovice is getting. Ooh. Mouton is killing us with the stolen bases. And there's another base hit, and it scores a run. So they manufacture another run and get a two-run lead here, and it's 4-2, to two, and then that's not even manufactured. That's a jack. So now they've got a 6-2 to two lead. <coughs> and a ground out to third. We're down by four, though, now. And, uh... Ken Caminiti up. Well, it, it doesn't look good in this game, so I'm going to try to preserve the bullpen as much as possible by letting McDowell go as long as I can possibly let him go. Um, Chris Morgan is up. I mean, maybe we'll get the four runs, but the way we've been batting against Swindell, it doesn't look like it. There is a base hit, though, for Morgan, which puts us back at the top of the order for Joey Cora. And Joey Cora gets a base hit. Maybe we can. But four runs, again, four runs is a tall order. But, you know, you get two here, and then maybe you get another one in the eighth, and then another one in the ninth. You tie the game. You go to extra innings. I don't know that that's how it's going to play out, but, you know. And uh, we, ha we do have one down, and now Frank Thomas, he could bring us right back to within. Uh, well, he's not going to do that. And uh, that could have brought us to within one. Um, Franco up. And Franco is out. So we had a good start to that inning, but it didn't finish well. Top of the eighth. McDowell still out there. Of course, I want to preserve the bullpen as much as I can for the next game. That's an infield base hit. That's going to be a fielder's choice or a double. Is it a double play? No, it's a fielder's choice. One down with Eusebio up. <coughs> That's a fly out. There's two away. Oh, my God. I've got to try to remember that these guys are stealing like madmen. I haven't seen them steal even attempt to and or steal and or steal like this in the rest of the series. All right, and there's a fly out. So we're still down by four. And Ventura up. Guess they got a new pitcher out there. And he walks a guy. That's Todd Jones. Mr. Joe owns. That's going to be a ground out into a double play. So we got two down quickly. And Tim Raines Sr. up. And that's going to be a base hit to center field. With Carco Vice. Carco Vice is going to fly out to center. All right, well, down by four. The only good thing with this game was I was able to preserve the bullpen. One down. And that's going to be a fly out. Two down. And, uh... Bagwell up. 
And that's going to be a pop out. Well, McDowell looks like he got us through the game. Because um, I don't think we're getting four runs off of Todd Jones. <coughs> Chris Morgan's out. Uh, Joey Core is up. He is going to be out. And uh, Gian. And they come out onto the field. They're a bunch of happy Astros. All right, well, uh, let's go take a look. And I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quick play the next game. If we lose it, we'll lose the series. If we win it, that'll set up a game seven, and then I'll do game seven some other time in another video. But McDowell, though, was key. He gave us nine innings um, so that the bullpen should be fresh for this next game. So we're going to leave the game, finish today. Fernandez is pitching. Yeah, I think I want that. And we're going to play the game versus the Astros. I'm going to start the game. Typical lineups, too, except Eusebio was batting a little higher. But anyway, we're going to go. <coughs> Simulate the game. And look at that. We even the series. We've evened the series, and there will be a Game 7. And so, you will see the Game 7 at some point in the near future. But, I'm just glad that we evened it up. Uh, let's take a look at the box scores here. Karkovice was 4 for 4 with two RBIs. And a walk. He even fit a walk in there. Reigns was 2 for 5. Gian was two for six. Thomas was two for six. Now, unfortunately, he decided he wanted to go through my bullpen. After I did all that work to preserve the bullpen, he decided to empty it. So, I mean, I guess that's fine because now we've got a game seven, but we're going to have a tired bullpen for game seven. But it's going to be all hands on deck anyway. So anyway, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.